Hello, good morning. Thank you for your time with us on Off the Press. We take a look at the headlines in the newspaper and with the help of our guest, we're able to decipher some of the hidden meanings and help you make sense of it. My name is Felicity Ezewike. I have with me in the studio Anihuvi Ayeni, social commentator. Pleasure to have you join us. You. Good morning, Felicity. Good morning Thank to you, morning. you as well. All right, the nation is up for review. Um, the big one here is APC governors seek Buhari's position on neck meeting. That's it. Um, uh, on neck meeting, um, court admits uh, Ajimobi Bulama Chukuma. Uh, I think that's um, not the exact um, uh, front page this morning. So just um, uh, sorry for that mix up. We'll just continue uh, with uh, others. Um, Sultan knock Christian leaders on killings. Nobody is persecuted. And that's another one. Um, fire me, Abba's row dippens as rulers shun government functions. Also on the front page of the nation, coronavirus, UN, EU shut down, panic. At airports, the coronavirus is really taking its toll on all of us. Uh, can you um, let me get your reaction on that? Aside from the uh, EU shutting down, uh, the, America has taken a decision to, you know, stop all kinds of travel to all parts of Europe, and with just a few exceptions here and there. And I will say, uh, well, given what they have said, given the information they have, which we are not privileged to have, because I believe there's still. Uh, level of information about this coronavirus that is not being given to the public. There are still a number of things that are being said at that top level of governance. Because one, they don't want to panic the markets and they don't want to panic the people. The markets and everything, all the indices that actually feed the market are already being affected by the virus, the effect of the virus. Well, holding this information that you think it's likely, um, isn't that going to hurt even more? Because eventually these things come out. The reason, why, the reason why one needs to be careful at giving out this um, kind of information is because you don't want to cause a chaos, a pandemic issue. You don't want to cause a negative reaction from the people. For example, if someone says that there is a fly on your nose, somebody can just do this and that is okay. Somebody else says there's a fly on your nose and immediately there is a reaction which you didn't expect. and say, what did you do? The only thing is why well, I said there was a fly on the nose. The effect of coronavirus is affecting the world in a way that we have not seen before, at least in this day and age. In the 1918, 1930 something, yeah, there were things that happened way back then. But in this time and age, with all the social media and all the information systems we have, information easily gets corrupted. So I still believe there is still a level of information that is not getting to everybody while they are still working hard on underground to try to find a um, solution to this. Oh, okay, um, we have uh, Sultan knocking Christian leaders on killings. Nobody is persecuted. Nobody is being persecuted. Well, the, the Sultan says that nobody is being persecuted on the killing of Christians. That is, that is a, that's a case of government reaction to what happens. And because it's now become a Christian and a Muslim agenda, like I will always say, human beings are dying. Let our security systems try to get to the root of what these killings are all about. Now, what are the killings? Is it because of kidnapping? Is it because of hatred? What exactly is causing all this? And there have been so many reasons that have come out that someone says that nobody is being persecuted, maybe they've not seen anybody in court. And a friend of mine who is a judge and is also a Christian said there are so many cases in the courts that they are trying to bring forward. But the, what the press will take in the same court, what the press will carry in the news is different from the case of this man or this pastor or this imam is being prosecuted for this thing or the other. If they see a political case like an APC and a PDP, of course, that is going to be front line. So, so are, are, we, are, are you saying the media is sort of um, not putting the narrative where it should be because of their focus for sensationalization? Yes, yes. I think so. That, that is, that's my take. That's my position for it because it's, it's, a, it's a sensitive issue. If, you say that, if we say that, oh, there are more Muslims being persecuted for Christian killings, there are Christians being persecuted for Muslim killings, it's going to, it's going to create a very negative reaction in the, in the public, in the society. People are going to start doing hurtful things to one another. 
So to say that someone is not being prosecuted is not all the cases in the court that come out in the press. It's not all the cases in the court that we know about. Until the lady was actually were, were condemned to death, sorry to use that word, condemned. Until the lady was actually condemned to the death for the killing of her husband, there have been so many cases of husbands killing wives, wives killing husbands. How many of them have actually come out to say this person is going to die? Some of them have been because of one reason or the other. The person is still in prison or somebody, money has passed, passed on somewhere. So what I'm just saying is that that is a reaction from somebody is not a reaction from the general public. Okay, um, let's look at the APC governor seeking Buhari's position on neck. Uh, <laughs> um, a lot seems to be going on with Honestly. the APC at the moment, and it doesn't look like it's ending anytime soon. Will this neck meeting be the solution? Well, uh, what my reaction to these things, either it's PDP or is APC or is any one of them, these are political issues and it's a power tussle between, we say when two elephants fight, the ground is the one that suffers. My, my, my take is this, I'm very, very happy at the new narrative that is coming out in politics. There are more people in now interested in politics than ever before. And people who are ready to go through the meal, who are ready to look at it in an objective way, even the subjective way, in an intelligent way for us to have an intelligent conversation. This is a country that is progressing intelligently. There are people of intelligence in di at different fairs. If we don't have the governance to be able to accommodate and be able to promote and increase that kind of intelligence in this country, we are going to be running on, governors can be running on analog while the rest of the public is running on digital. So my take is that I want more people who are interested in politics now of the of the necessary intelligence and understanding of governance of this century. More of those voices are the ones that we want to hear. APC neck or no neck meeting, honestly, my take is, uh, let us see positive politics that promotes the progress of Nigeria. The punch is up next for review this morning. At 12 Sands leads Senussi's freedom battle. Hearing begins today. Uh, page two is where you find details. It has uh, two, three riders. Um, ex Kanu Emir sues IG DSS boss, fights to lead detention. Uh, Shrinka hits a Ganduje, says former CBN governor, a reformer. Nasarawa Gov, Emir's security chiefs meet deposed monarch. Okay, um, we also see some sort of um, deserted streets. Uh, this one is in Milan. And Italy, we also have uh, Rome. I think there's a picture of the effect of the coronavirus. Uh, Lagos Assembly set up panel to resolve uh, crisis. My brother-in-law sent me to remove human parts. That's a suspect speaking. A Shomole silver feeling violent protest in Bialsa. That's Diri. Tension as Ekiti queries top monarchs for insubordination. Uber passenger rescued from Lagos Lagoon killed girlfriend. Uber passenger rescued from Lagos Lagoon killed girlfriend. That's according wow. to the CP. That's, um, wow, that's my reaction as well. Wow. Um, NYSC screens govs, ministers, coppers at orientation camp. And then at the very top of the paper, if you can flip there now, um, there you have it. Um, oil dips to $32. Buhari says it's time to diversify. Page 23 and 24. It's time to diversify. Mm -hmm. Agbata Biamila begs ASU lecturers vow to continue strike. Uh, Naira crashes and value dollar sells for 420 Naira. Multiple suits threaten APC neck meeting crisis deepens. On the back page of the paper, we have uh, uh, Friday Musings with Ayo. And today he's talking about Sanusi, the reformers cross in an illiberal democracy. Over to you. What's uh, your thought on this? Uh, let's start with the headlines. The, the, yes. Um, it, the president says it's time to diversify. Mm -hmm. It's what we've been talking about for the mm -hmm. past how many years now. No, let me just, now it's let me just recap. Seriously. Says Buhari <laughs> says it's time to, to diversify. diversify. For those that haven't heard it, 
uh, he's emphasizing on it right now. Let's diversify the economy. The so your economy. thoughts on it? Yes. Uh, well, a lot of diversification has been happening. I mean, look at the entertainment industries. Look at what the media has done for Nigeria. And really and truly, some years ago, we only had just about how many media houses. Now we have a, a lot more media houses. A lot more media houses means that we are hearing news in a more objective way. We are hearing people talk about the news from their own perspective, and we are not going on a trajectory of just one thought in the nation. So there is diversification. There are people with a lot of ideas. There are people with a lot of understanding, people with a lot of knowledge in, in different areas. And because we have a lot happening in the media, via the media right now, we are able to key into some of these things and actually let people know that this is happening. Just before the news, I was watching a documentary about some young boys, and I'm sure those boys are less than 25 yeah. years old, and they are working on plastic. That is not something that somebody else knows about. But now, because of this, ch this channel of the media, somebody in Zamfara State can know that young boys are working about it. So somebody in Zamfara can rise up and say, look, I can talk to those boys and find out how I can do it in my state. So there is, there is a lot of information, knowledge being passed that there is a very robust learning environment in Nigeria right now. I tell young people, I said, if Nigeria was the way it was 20 years ago or 30 years ago when I joined the, the energy industry, I will not work in the energy industry. I will work in the Nigeria of today, in some of these small places, because Nigeria is such a rich learning environment for young people right now, and I hope they take the advantage of it. All right, um, which are the headlines? The sands and our our salt sand and, battle. Yes, um, it's 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 very it's it's a it's a case that touches everybody. I came in from Abuja last night, and everyone in Abuja is talking about it. This is not about matter of Kano, a Muslim, Christian, anything. Everybody is talking about it because everybody is so pained that this had to happen. Do you and, see the banishment being reversed as the sands have uh, indicated? That it they will want? not be reversed. It will not be reversed. Well, I say that from the knowledge of having lived in the North for how many years and the knowledge of having grown up in this system for how many years. I mean, well, the thing is, a, a change is a consistent thing. And we know that among the reasons why he was dethroned was his uh, penchant to um, stare up emotions on issues that are traditionally uh, in a particular way. So wouldn't this also maybe be an avenue for him to break from the usual tradition and set a new tradition for the people of that area? You see, that is what you have just said. You have just answered me in a way by saying that this is traditional and this is governance. Now, you are talking to a group of people who are ruled more by their tradition than what any government says. If their tradition tells them that they, they, can, they can eat five times a day, and the government tells them that because, oh, we want to do this, we can only afford three times a day, they'll eat five but times the decision a day. But the decision to remove him from the throne was from the law. That so uh, you are merging the law and tradition in this case, which one supersedes the other? Well, the thing about it is that you are dealing with a group of people who for many, many years, they have been governed by their tradition. Now, okay. all of a sudden, this change that uh, Governor um, Sanusi, uh, uh, Sanusi is going to bring into it is not something that can happen immediately. It will take, it's, a, it will take a while. It's, I, I, I think he should take this as a learning process to get the strength from those who are backing him up, backing him up for the man he is, to get the understanding, to get the understanding of the place of those people, and use this as a process of a learning process to say that come people, let's look at it this way, let's look at it this way. Some years ago, if you had said that a market woman on the streets of Lagos or Ibadan in, at a, in a village will actually transfer money for her fish by transfer on her star 737 or star 999 or 993 or something like that, it would not have been possible. But today it's possible because technology has gone. So by the time right. information is given on to people, I think it can start a process of changes from tradition to 
governance. All right, let's jump to this day newspaper and see how quickly we can get through with it. CBN banks others to raise 1.5 trillion naira to fund infrastructure. The Apex Bank rules out devaluation of Nigeria, says microeconomic fundamentals strong, threatens the sanction forest speculators. Uh, Buhari exploits coronavirus outbreak to promote economic diversification. That's a different way uh, of putting it uh, from what yes. the punch has said. Despite conflicting court orders, APC neck holds Tuesday. Uh, that's another one for you on the front page. San Luis Sue's IG, we've taken that story in depth. Uh, Senate moves to strip uh, president governors of immunity for criminal uh, from criminal prosecution. Passengers 83 is on the back page of this day newspaper. Let's, let's take this one. Senate moves to strip president governors of immunity uh, from criminal uh, prosecution. What's your take on that quickly? Well, that uh, anybody who commits a criminal offense can be prosecuted. I think that is kudos to them. That is very good. I pray they take it through because everybody needs to know the state of accountability, the length of accountability, and the position of accountability that they hold when they hold a public office. You are answering to multiple of people, millions and millions of people. So anything they do right or they do wrong affects society. And if we, they know that, look, what I, did any decision I'm making here, it's my neck that is going to be on the line. I believe there will be more decisions made for the progress of the people rather than the bias of human mind. Okay, um, let's take a quick look at the Daily Sun newspaper. A coronavirus expected list on front page. Naira on the threat. Crashes from 355 Naira to 374. Another paper was saying about 400, yes. um, over 400 Naira. No cause for alarm, federal government insists. The Post MES Sanusi sues IGP, that's also on the front page. FG ASU reach agreement on IPPIS, a union yet to call of strike. A quick look for you on how the front page looks this morning. Um, we also have a look at traders counting their losses after a fire incident that raised the Eleele market in a battle. Uh, with improved security, that's Buhari speaking. No plan to depose others. Governor, fire me on the front page. And on the back page, Onoha Uke is talking about uh, understanding Oshomole's travels in APC. Uh, which of these, Enugu Airport, by the way, is the deadline, Sakrasan says, uh, for FG. Which of these would you want to pick on quickly? Um, that the head of state is using coronavirus. Yeah, Naira, using... Naira um, on the threat. Or which one? Yes, or because using my name to yes. fleece people. EFCC people. chairman, EFCC chairman. <laughs> Everybody. And then coronavirus, Naira on the threat. Every currency, every nation, just like we have just spoken about, yeah. coronavirus is affecting everything. So this type of headline, Naira on the threat, but the government says, don't, there's no Panic. need to fear. Yeah, they are the balancing effect. No, that, yeah to say that there's no need to fear. Well, we've got to continue life as we do life. If we need to do more, there's opportunity to do more. There's a stretch out to do more. We will do more that needs to be done. So really and truly, it's their call. We are listening to it, but we keep on living our lives and see the effects it gives to us. All right, uh, let's look at um, the Vanguard newspaper now. The headline is similar to what we've seen in other papers, APC and coronavirus. Let's uh, start with a fight to finish in APC as opposing camps dig in. That's how uh, the paper is saying it this morning. Party officials remove a shameless pictures from billboards at Secretariat. Um, 47 non-NWC members kick against NEC meeting. Uh, equity court begins hearing a case against Ajibobi's appointment. Uh, those are some of the writers to the story you see on the front page. Uh, let me give you a quick uh, glance at what it looks like. There you have it. That's how the Vanguard looks this morning. Uh, coronavirus hits Nigeria economy. Oil prices further down to $36.05. That's uh, where you have uh, a problem. Uh, Stokes loses crime. Stokes losses climb to 1.8 trillion Naira. Naira depreciates further. CBN reads riot at FG Asu agreed to integrate UTAs into IPPIS. That's a new one. Um, well, we thought they were still trying to figure things out. You might want to go read details um, on page 10 of the paper. Um, uh, COVID-19 falling oil prices will affect funding of infrastructure. That's uh, Buhari uh, speaking on the front page of um, 
uh, the Vanguard newspaper, headsmen attacked soldiers, didn't kill Weru indigens. That's uh, Okoa speaking. Okay, I'd, I'd like you to just uh, make a choice of a headline to speak on quickly. You see, they're talking about the coronavirus. You can see that the coronavirus is around everything that is being said here, and that was what we were talking about, about information the last time, the release of information. Now, the in... In, in governance, there are levels of information. There's secret, there's top secret, and there are things like that. Like, like we said before, if certain levels of information are given to people, it's going to cause panic and pandemic. And that is one of the reasons why I'm sure people are reacting. What is happening now as stocks loses climb to one point, uh, stock losses climbs to 1.8 trillion is panic. It's panic. The investors are pulling out. People are no longer buying. And once that is happening, it's going to say, oh, no, it was five before, now it's three, now it's two, now it's one, now it's zero. That is the same effect that is happening. And if that continues to happen, certain places that were always giving money, where people were always sure of getting a, a feedback, there will be no feedback. And when that happens, that creates a chaos for governance. And that is what governance is trying to prevent. Not because they are trying to put people in the dark, but because they are trying to work out a better solution that will give people more calm. So we are trying to stop people from this kind of reaction, reaction. in the markets that is causing all this fall in Naira. All right, thank you very much, Ayeli, for coming on the program. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> and of course, thank you for watching. Uh, we hope uh, you got some perspective and there is no need to panic. Our government is telling us they're doing everything they can and we can see that, that they're trying across the world uh, to find a way to fight this new virus uh, that is currently bedeviling um, all of us. Be calm, stay well, drink a lot of water, wash your hands, and stay uh, security conscious. My name is Felicity Ezewike. See you later.